Hey guys, it's Jaime Rivera from PocketNow.com, and this is part four of the video review for the E10 Glowfish X650. Moving on to performance, probably one of the surprises I've had with this device is that uh, uh, even though you don't have a strong processor, and probably uh, performance is not really its top model, one of the things you'll notice is that I have the Matrix Revolutions playing here, and uh, well, honestly, this is a QVGA video. It's not really VGA, but you'll notice there is no lagging whatsoever. So at least I've noticed that uh, if you play uh, videos that are in lower resolution than what the device supports, you'll definitely get a uh, good performance, really good. So you could practically use SPB Mobile DVD and uh, practically play uh, videos that are in QVGA content and uh, you could say you won't have any lagging while playing them, which is good. Now, obviously, if you bring VGA videos, like, for example, part uh, two of the IPAC review that I did recently, you'll notice that there is lagging in a full VGA video while using this VGA device. So, uh, definitely, if you want to play a movie here, you're going to have to go for a smaller resolution. If you want to get good rendering, definitely uh, you cannot uh, get the best rendering uh, if you go for full VGA support like you'll see here. This is pretty much it for uh, what uh, it can do for videos or what I could explain it can do for videos. Probably battery performance in what we can talk about is decent. I could practically take out a whole day uh, with a normal incoming and outgoing calls, but you can't expect it to do really good. I mean, as I mentioned, the device is a bit laggy. Uh, it is a bit slow. And uh, definitely uh, the, the amount of resolution and the amount of processing power that it requires from the processor is, is large. So uh, battery power is definitely not probably its best model for the 1500 uh, milliamp battery that it uses. In the gaming part, probably one of my sad, uh, one of the sad things I found out about this device is that even though, yes, you get a cuter, solitaire, and stuff like that, but none of my old QVGA games play on this device. They do play, but they play really slow. Apparently, definitely the processor or the resolution does not support older games or the pixelation that it's included, so uh, sadly, all my old games don't play. They do, but real slow, really unacceptable. Uh, definitely gaming for this device, unless I could probably be mistaken, but I've tried all the games with the uh, with uh, no applications running and everything just to keep it fair for the device uh, and uh, definitely I don't get the performance that I, am, that I am expecting and the board games that I get, yes I do get a lot of pixelation and stuff like that. Moving on to pretty much bugs, I haven't noticed really many bugs in the device. Definitely uh, everything works I would say as retailed. This is not retailed as the fastest device. Uh, probably the only bug that I have noticed in this device is the fact that uh, even though you got this uh, really neat Bluetooth interface uh, to connect the uh, headsets, for example, and uh, pretty much any other thing that goes through Bluetooth, as you'll notice here, probably one of the things I don't like this is that even though it's really practical to get a Bluetooth uh, headset set up because you get the passwords included and everything, you don't have to actually type anything, it's a very seamless and practical way to connect there is a squeaking noise once you connect headsets. I've tried three headsets already with this device and even if I don't use headsets, I don't know if uh, probably E10 has tried it too hard uh, with what pertains to sound quality, but I haven't really liked the sound quality of this device. It is a bit squeaky, it is a bit uh, uh, unacceptable. When I, when I begin the call, it'll actually um, start the call at the beginning and uh, you won't hear the call quality initially as you'd want and people are listening to you and they'll, they're saying that they actually hear you as if you were in speaker mode. Uh, I could assume this has practically something to do with my review unit. I can't guarantee it's not going to be part of yours, but definitely if you're into going into a 650, uh, try this first. Try how people hear you in your calls, if they can hear you fine, and, and if not, well, it's a simple return and that's pretty much the way you'll solve it. Uh, this is pretty much it in what pertains to performance, uh, gaming, and pretty much bugs. Uh, the device overall is not bad. It's, it's decent. It's really good. And definitely, as I mentioned, uh, this VGA screen does make a big difference into uh, enjoying your experience with the device a bit more. 
This is pretty much it for part four and this pretty much wraps it up for the video reviews of this device. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, so thank you very much for pocketnow.com.